What is up, everybody? Justin with Red Battle Wagon here, and yes, this is seven months later from our last video. So yeah, um, yeah, everybody. Like I said, you know, seven months ago we recorded. Um, I'm looking at it right now. You know, how to get started creating content. I tried to take my advice. You know, I got on there and I was doing Twitch. You know, I would say two to three times a week. Started posting on TikTok a little bit, not as much as I would have liked. Um, we were doing Facebook and Twitter as well, um, and a little bit on Instagram. Instagram's fun and all, but um, I just I think for the the style of content I was going for, which is more like video game type stuff, and um, some pixel art at sometimes it just it didn't work out. When I did pixel art, it worked great. I think. Um, so lessons learned there um, Twitter just good to just get the, the word out um, I think it has its its use um, I don't really use it for commentary so that kind of works out um, clearly YouTube it kind of a missed opportunity I just hadn't been on here I spent I, I figured long-form video content um, I was gonna choose one or the other twitch or YouTube um, I've, I've really enjoyed my time on twitch uh, the problem is, is uh, well, as you can tell, you know, I, I, a lot more fuller <laughs> poundage-wise and hair-wise. I've got a, a laundry going in the the background there, so we got some loud noises going on here. Um, everybody's just a little bit tired or more tired. There you go. Um, I mean, it's we're coming out of the pandemic, so this is uh, what June. June of 2021 we're coming out of the pandemic finally here in the US so um, you know whatever who cares about appearances right so um, yeah no it was definitely an interesting journey uh, things kind of fizzled off with twitch and just social media presence in general for the last few months uh, I was laid off from my last uh, employer because of COVID I did some layoffs because of that and I, I got some new work and I've kind of thrown myself 100% into that so um, just a lot of time and energy just just going into it which I'm really happy with it um, I, I, I love what I do for a living and uh, you know I like to, to just put my whole self into it so I've kind of taken a little bit of a back seat with Red Battle Wagon for a little while uh, but hey, we're going to come back on here and start making some stuff. So I, like I said, I just want to come on here, kind of give an update. Um, like I said, we, my kids and I, we, we tried to just kind of throw ourselves into it. I think we recorded more videos than we posted. So, you know, enjoying that journey. Yeah, I've got, I've got tons of videos that are just going to be for me and the family. Maybe one day I'll use them as B-roll or something like that. But uh, we recorded a lot of videos over this last year and uh yeah i just didn't feel the need to post them i, I think priorities have changed um especially with the, you know the pandemic and just being on lockdown for so long um kind of just realize you know what's what's important um obviously I, I enjoy connecting with everybody um you know here on youtube and you know like especially on twitch i i, I made some really good connections on twitch it's a great community um, TikTok's been a f phenomenal community to be a part of as well, um, and and I think I think the biggest takeaway for me is so when I went into you know kind of creating Red Battle Wagon and one reason why it really hasn't taken off be besides doing live streams because I really enjoy the live stream format. Um, but I was just playing video games on here and doing some pixel art every once in a while, which are just a small sliver of what I enjoy to do. And the, the original idea uh, of Red Battle Wagon was, you know, I tried to come up with like, what's my elevator pitch? What What is it, right? And it's, you know, to, um, it's been a while since I've even thought about it. It's a fight to find balance between work, home life, and hobbies, right? Uh, but that was back in the old days when you know we we did throw ourselves into our work too much and we didn't take time to slow down and and spend time with the family and do things we enjoyed well now the world has changed right so it's um 
you know, we, we have learned to prioritize family, uh, taking time to, you know, learn a new hobby, learn a new skill, um, do things that we love to do. And I mean, even employers are, are, are noticing that um, in the world and they're allowing for more time for people to be more flexible in their lives. So I think as the old world kind of died for a while there, uh, with just the hustle and bustle and everything. And I'm sure it'll come back in some shape or form. But I think a lot of us, um, you know, have really kind of reprioritized life, uh, which is good. It's a good thing, right? So I think even even the, the whole idea of Red Battle Wagon is, is gonna, you know, evolve, right? There's gonna be an evolution to it. And I, I think, quite honestly, I, I think I, I fell into a hole where it was I was trying to keep myself confined to a narrow scope you know um, you always hear people say like find your niche find your niche right and and you always try to strive to be perfect all the time like I said I've I usually will you know cut my hair and everything and make sure the beard's all trimmed up before I come in here I don't care right now like it, this is me right now so um, you know and, and I feel like being stuck kind of in you know with some constraints around what I do it's not genuine no one is gonna come you know to my channel or any of my social medias and um, only like it for the the topic I'm talking about or the, the they're gonna come and want to hang out with me and I and in turn you know, I want to spend time with with you guys right uh, it's more of a relationship you know and that's what social media should be so I think rather than kind of sticking to a small bubble with, you know, just only like the pixel art or, you know, career ideas and success and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I think I talked about pixel art, but yeah, I did video games and stuff with the kids. I mean, that's, that's fine and fun and all, but you know, like for instance, I, I picked up watercoloring. Um, it's so relaxing and I absolutely love doing it. I'm having fun doing it. And, the the one uh, really nice piece that I've done, people have actually said, "Hey, it actually looks good." So I'm like, "Okay, well maybe maybe that's something fun to do." I've been doing more kayaking lately. Uh, I know I started off, you know, when I when I started blogging, I started doing um, some blog posts around kayaking and everything, and I, I've always wanted to do it. Well, now I just go out and kayak, and then stop, film something for a little while, and. You know that'd be nice to just share with you all and everything um but i you know i do so much and uh, honestly I, I don't i don't think i should be searching for a niche or anything like that um and, and so i think that's like i said that's that's probably one of the bigger takeaways from just getting started right so i i kind of did the homework after i posted that video yeah seven months ago now seven months right post that video and just like just get started just do it right I did it and I, I found that I, I love doing the work um, streaming has been tremendously rewarding can be daunting when you stick to a schedule so that's that's kind of tough when you work a full-time job that is rather demanding um, you know it does take a lot out of you to stick to a schedule but as long as it's in fun and it doesn't become a job in itself, I think that's where it's it, it's fun. But I think the the biggest thing that I need to get away from and just be okay with is not trying to stick to a niche. Um, I hope you, you know, hit that bell and subscribe and all that stuff because you want to see more of just crazy stuff I talk about and hear me ramble. Um, some people say I have a soothing voice. So that's fine. Just sit here, pour a cup of coffee and sit down and relax and listen to me ramble for a half hour. That's fine. Um, let's see. I've been going for about 10 minutes now. So, I mean, that's not too bad. Well, nine minutes or so. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, I think, I think I'm going to just continue enjoying the journey, just creating things I like to create. Um, I think that'll allow me to come on here more often and just, uh, just create that'll be the key just get on here and create I think I'm still gonna use twitch uh, when I just feel like playing video games I'm gonna use twitch and just stream on there 
Um, I want to do more YouTube. Um, so I got to find out what what that format looks like. Um, what content will that be? I don't I don't think I'm any good to well who am I to say? I don't want to upload video game me playing video game content. Content of me playing video games. There we go. Uh, that's that's where it's Twitch. That's that's what Twitch is for. When I want to sit down and play video games, I'm just gonna hit stream, go live, and just play video games and hang out with people. That's what I think I'm gonna use that for instead of using it for more uh, you know long-term content. If I'm gonna sit down and do some art and stuff like that, I think I might live stream here on on YouTube for that and. Uh, you know start doing more of my art videos and talk about some of the art supplies I have and stuff because a lot of people ask like what do you use and everything and and, and that's fun and get back into you know doing bullet journaling and um, you know my wife and I we got really obsessed with candles and, and Frankensteining candles and just you know we've got candles all over the house this one's not even burning right now but I've got like a candle just sitting in here inside of a pot from another candle and you know, so we, we've done a lot of fun stuff with that. So, you know, I don't mind talking about and sharing some of the stuff we've been doing. So it's been an interesting year. So, yeah, it'd be fun to just, just dig back in and just start hitting record, making stuff, you know. I used to make a lot of things, and, and I, I enjoy talking to people about it. And, you know, it's... I don't have the... the the need to drive and go, you know, hang out with people in person really anymore. It's a lot, you know. I want to spend time with the family and stuff here, so it'd be good. So, yeah, I'm just rambling now, which is fine, because that's what I do. <laughs> but yeah, so it'll be good. So we'll um, we'll have more content on here. Um, not not as often as I used to think. I used to think I had a post, you know, twice a week, once a week, every day. It's going to be just as often as I can muster up the, the energy to get on here and hit record. Um, but I definitely want to start sharing some of the stuff um, I've been playing around with and just have fun. Um, it's time to share. You know, we've been locked up long enough. Um, time to play show and tell and and uh you know show everybody what kind of cool things are out there so anyways if you'd like to see more um you know stick around you know subscribe so you can at least see when i post new things um it'd be nice to build this channel up a little bit uh if i see you subscribing i'll try to say hi um or if you comment you know down below i'll definitely try to respond say hi um and that'll let me know that, you know, it's good to start uploading some content. So, you know, it may not be perfect, but I, I really, like I said, don't really care anymore. You know, it's it's one of those things where um, it's more of a relationship now with with you guys. Um, you just get on here and have real conversations. Uh, we don't need to worry about big production value. That's what the professional YouTubers do. And uh, if you want to see high-end production value, um, go ahead. That's fine. Uh, I, I can recommend some uh, really cool uh, YouTube channels for that. Um, I'll still try to put out the best content I can, but uh, you know, this is more just me wanting to hang out with you guys. So we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens. All right. Have a good one, everybody.